electrical system is supplied by one battery and two alternators. The battery is located in the nose section. One alternator is mounted on each engine. A 12 volt battery provides a 35 ampere current for engine starting. For use of electrical equipment when the engines are not running. And for a source of stored electrical power to back up the alternator output. The battery has a master switch located inside wall switch panel. You turn the master switch to on to provide the DC power to electrical system. You cannot use the electrical system when the master switch is in off position. Each alternator supplies a 6G ampere power. Two voltages regulators maintain effective load sharing while regulating electrical system bus to 14 volts. An overvoltage relay in each alternator circuit prevents damage to electrical and avionics equipment by taking an alternator off the line. If its output exceeds 17 volts, the electrical system and equipment are protected by circuit breakers located on circuit breaker panel on lower right side of the instrument panel. In the event of equipment malfunctions or sudden surge of current, a circuit breaker can trip automatically. The pilot can reset the breaker by pressing it in. The circuit breakers can be pulled out manually if necessary to shed electrical loads under some circumstances. Most of the electrical switches, including the master switch and switches for magnetos, fuel pumps, starters, alternators, exterior lights and pitot heat, are conveniently located on the switch panel. To the left of the pilot, on the side wall. Approximately 2000 RPM or more is required to obtain full alternator output of 6 G amperes. It is normal to have zero output at idle RPM. This is due to reduced drive ratio from the engine. Dual M meter and alt annunciator light provide a means of the electrical system operation. The two M meters indicate the output of the alternators. Should an M meter indicate a load much higher than the known consumption of the electrical equipment in use? It should be suspected of malfunction and turned off. In this event the remaining alternator's ammeter should show a normal indication after approximately one minute.
If both M meters indicate a load much higher than the known consumption for more than approximately 5 minutes. An electrical defect other than the alternator system should be suspected. A 0 M meter reading indicates an alternator is not producing current and should be accompanied by illumination of the alternator light.